Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Maddie and in today's video, I'm letting you guys know that y'all bitches need a Sunday routine. Let me just explain a little about, about why, why the fuck y'all need it. Sundays, in, in my opinion, are the days that you reset so you can have a great start to your week. So every Sunday, what I do is my spiritual practice, but I always, every day I do my spiritual practice, but Sundays I just take a real good moment to like connect with myself and like set good intentions for the next week. And then also probably do like some astral projection or, you know, some mystical shit, like some fun shit of spirituality and not like, you know, grounding myself and doing shadow work and then doing tarot readings. But that's what I'm doing today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be astral projecting today and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. And the reason why I'm astral, proje astral projecting is because I'm finally ready. Um, if you guys know from my other video, I'm going to put it up there if you guys would like to see it. But I have not astral projected since that time because I was so scared. And it, it, it wasn't me being scared because the I was going to get hurt astral projection. It was the fact that that motherfucker scared. He, he not, they're not a motherfucker. But they scared the shit out of me, bro. Like, I was like, okay, so that's enough thrill for a good couple of months. Like, I don't need that much excitement at this moment. So now I do. Now I want to do it. My ancestors think I am ready once again. So I'm going to trust them, as I always do, because they never steer me wrong. And even though I don't listen sometimes. And I'm going to do it today. And I'm excited. So where I'm going, I want to just go in the clouds. And I'm going to be so specific. Be specific, because that's exactly why I met that alien. I was just like, oh, I want to see the clouds. And then I was like, oh, an alien, okay. Be specific. So I'm going to be like, I want to float up out of my apartment and look at the clouds in the sky, in the atmosphere of Earth, in the Milky Way. Like, I'm trying to get really deep. I'm like, I want to be above my apartment, above my apartment, nobody else's. So I'm doing that today, that today. and then I'm going to do some cleansing and cleaning. So cleansing, as in like smoke cleansing to clear out the stagnant energy. I haven't done that in so long, so I gotta do that. And then I'm going to actually clean, which not that much because my cousins did some cleaning for the kitchen, so it's not really a lot to clean. I just need to clean my closet, my bathroom, my bedroom, stuff of that nature. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of my altar. You see it? Isn't it cute? I got some flowers too for them. I got lavender this time, so I hope no, they told me they, they always pick the colors. So I don't know why I hope they like saying I hope they like it. They're gonna like it, but and then I'm gonna do some research. Um, I'm gonna go on my rooftop, do some research. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this day. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm not gonna really be talking through this whole thing except for like the astral projection part. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna include that in this video or if I'm gonna include that in like a separate video of its own. We're just gonna see what I come up with, but yeah, I'm excited. So let's get this day started. By the way, this is lemon ginger tea. I always drink this every single morning. I am literally obsessed with this. Like, I'm a, oh, and also, I wanna say this. I usually don't wake up at 9, 10 on the week. I just have some really good skin. I'm sorry. My leaving place is kind of jumped out right then and there. But I usually don't wake up at like 10 a.m. on a Sunday. I usually wake up around like 6, 7. But I had my period came on last night and I stayed up with the cramps. <laughs> like, y'all already know how it is. People with uteruses, y'all already know. Y'all just gonna, that first night, y'all gonna stay up with just cramps and you just, you know, rolling around, up and out, shitting. Like, it's just a lot. So, that's what I did. So I just had to readjust my alarm clock to eight because I want to get at least eight hours of sleep in so I can be prepared for the day. So that so today I woke up at 10. But usually I wake up around like six, seven, because that's when I like to start my days. I am a I made myself into a morning person. Should I do a video on that on how to make yourself a morning person? Because I was never that person. I was literally like a night owl. Like I will work late at night in the mornings and then sleep until like one. But now I couldn't even I can't even do that anymore. Cause if I sleep tell one i get a headache i feel so horrible so would you guys like to feel horrible with me waking up late so yeah but let's go
into it. If you never watch this, I'm jumping y'all, period. Cause what? video gonna turn out because I didn't edit it yet so I'm just writing like not writing but doing but doing but doing a what you call it a closing an ending an outro an, is it? an outro to this video um y'all gonna hear what I did in the video or like on the screen when I edited it but yeah I did that um I didn't astro project Sunday I don't think because I think I fell asleep. I don't know. Y'all know I've been living in the present, so I don't know what the fuck been happening in what we call the past. But I think the next day, Monday, I asked her projected without like intentionally do it. This would kind of happen. I told my ancestors because I didn't do it Sunday. I was like, okay, if I asked her project when I take my little two hour nap, like I always do every single day, then I asked her project. It is what it is. I don't really. Like, if y'all feel like I need to do it, just, just lift my ass up. And they lift my ass up. Like, they were not playing. I fell asleep. And that sleep was not really a sleep. That sleep was just me basically <laughs> stopping my spirit from leaving and, and it coming back. And then I wake up and I'm like, holy shit. And then I go right back to sleep. And then my spirit's trying to leave again. And then I wake up. Like, that was literally all those two hours consisted of. And the funny thing about it was... I kind of psyched myself out from astral projecting um, because once I kind of finally did it and I realized that that was what I was doing, I, was, I started to get a little tiny bit scared because, you know, you don't know what can happen. And I started to hear singing as well. So I'm like, man, who the fuck's singing while I'm trying to astral project? So somebody was in my room singing. It was beautiful, but I was freaked out. <laughs> I'm such a I'm such a bitch. My friend, they know that. They know that. But yeah, that's basically what happened with the astro projection shit. I'm going to continue to practice because clearly, since I'm doing it so easily, because it used to take a long time for me to astro project, but my spirit's like this. So um, I'm gonna be trying to do it this week, and I'm gonna up update you guys on my social media. So make sure you follow me there, so you'll be updated. Um, and I'm also gonna do a TikTok on how to astro project. But yeah, uh, that's basically it with the astral projection. It was pretty cool. It was super freaking easy as well. So I'm excited to actually do it and to let go and release that fear. Cause I think I finally released the fear and I'm ready to do it. Um, the thing about when I astral project, I don't know I'm astral projecting until like the middle of it or halfway through it. I'm like, holy shit, I'm astral projecting. I'm not in my body. But this time I like instantly knew, which is probably why I psyched myself out. So yeah um key thing if you guys are practicing astral projecting astral projection and you're kind of scared of doing it my tip to you is to realize that you're protected no matter what that you have control over your reality like these spirits cannot do anything to you unless you allow them to and if you're not protecting yourself and cleansing yourself as you're doing this so make sure you do protection make sure you cleanse yourself and make sure you know that you're the shit like they can't harm you and be stand your ground be firm be courageous even if you don't feel like it fake it till you fucking make it don't make don't let them know that you're scared like be like okay bitch let me tell you something don't fuck with me because I'm a real one and my ancestors ride for me. So please leave me alone. Don't do that. But do something like that. Okay? Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what other videos you'd like to see from me. And I'll see my little angel fairies later. Bye loves.